Adam Amasinga in the green trunks. Darren O'Gorman in the black with red trim. O'Gorman immediately taking centre of the cage, but it's Amasinga who strikes first with a leg kick. You're already seeing the speed you've uh, you both mentioned. Even the feints are fast. Both guys standing 5'8", but oh, perhaps O'Gorman looks the slightly bigger man in the cage. Yeah, I think so. It just looks like he's got longer reach as well. Nathaniel, you talked about the uh, the speed of these guys going in. Do you think that's going to be the crucial factor in this contest? Definitely, you know, and it'll be interesting to see how their cardio is, because obviously keeping up at this speed, you know, it takes a lot out of you. Um, I don't know if I'm right in saying Darren used to fight at bantamweight. Yeah, he has competed at bantamweight. So it'll be interesting to see, you know, if the uh, if it makes a difference him coming down to flyweight. This is heavy pressure from Amasinger up against the cage here, trying to break off, but O'Gorman holds on to him. You can probably guess O'Gorman likely wants this one on the map. Amasinger also uh, competed at bantamweight against Scott Malone. It's a good body lock, and he tries to throw, but he's injured himself there, perhaps, rolling through on the straight armbar here. He's going to come up to mount or not. Oh, good work from Amasinga to maintain that top position. Risky business there. Yeah, immediately looking to attack, though. You see that foot on the hip and that left overhook. He's going to go guillotine now. I got worried for a second for Amasinga when that wizard got stuck and... Looked like he face planted himself. I'm assuming looking to keep a cool head there. He's right in front of his own corner, taking instruction. Yeah, he's got to keep that chin turned into the right hand side. Going to bring that left hand in and grip fight. There you go. O'Gorman looking to get his back on the cage. I mean, in O'Gorman, you're going to see somebody who's, who's going to hit a lot of attacks or, or is going to constantly be trying to sweep, trying to submit, looking for those offensive grips. And it is a different the cage. different ball game the from cage. somebody Can who's going to be a bit more passive in guard. Yeah, he's in rubber guard now. That high single hook has to slip it off, though. Getting compressed up against the fence. Singer, looking very collected here. See, what the cage is doing here is it's completely taking away the hip movement for O'Gorman by lifting the head up slightly off the mat. It completely removes your ability to pivot on the small of your back and escape your hips to either side. You, of course, need to do that to sweep an attack. Can use the cage, though, here. He's going to go armbar. Do not hook that cage with your toes. Second time he's looked for the armbar. And a singer immediately... Looking to get that takedown again. Obviously happy playing from top position. Yeah, I mean, it, you know, the, the shot almost looked on reflex there. He broke away, immediately wanted to come back in. I'm surprised he didn't try and put this back in a bit more of a striking phase. Big throw from Amasinga with a great job to post there. From O'Gorman. Yeah, he still earned the takedown, but it's the second time he's been almost stuffed on that throw. Again, got to defend this head and arm guillotine. Problem is, it can be very hard to finish those guillotines when you've got your back up against the cage. You know, you can tell that obviously Darren likes, likes his arm in guillotines, but you know, it's going to be hard to finish there up against the cage. Good angle cut from Anasinga to start moving around, but uh, O'Gorman scrambles back up. Body lock for Amasinger now, he's going to try that hip again. You can see he's looking to turn and hook. Another big takedown as the crowd rules his name for Adam Amasinger. Really good work on top. He's going to try and free that lockdown on the leg. You see how O'Gorman's swinging his legs back and forward, that's going to turn the hip of Amasinger, who's trying to bring that staple in and strip that, uh, that leg free. Good work from Amasinga here. He's floating around on top really well. Gives up the neck again, but he's not going to be in too much danger there. I mean, 10 seconds left, might as well. Try and do some damage here. High elbow, Marcelatine, though, but the arm slips out. 
Oh, and that would have been an interesting position to see out here. Dorman dropping a few elbows in at the death. And a round that lived up to billing. Fast and furious action up here on the floor rather than standing for the most part. An impressive round from both these young flyweights. Yeah, that, that's Amma Singer's uh, round probably on, on balance. Let's take a look at the takedown here. Stepped all the way across and didn't quite manage to get his hips underneath. This is a lovely rolling armbar. You see how he tramps that shin on the back of the, the neck, uses it to help spin Amma Singer over. Beautiful transition, but not able to quite come up on top. Amma Singer again looking for that throw. This was much better. See how he got the hips underneath. Good defense from O'Gorman, at least initially. Amma Singer again with a big takedown there. Putting a stamp on this round. Nathaniel, if you're in the Gorman's corner now, what's the game plan going into round two? What do you want to see from him? You know, it's, I would like to either see him get on top, you know, go for a takedown, get the top position, and, and maybe use some ground and pound and, and stuff. Your but, now. keep it flat, you know, okay? I, I definitely think that maybe, you know, just keep it standing for, for a little bit. It can tell that, um, sorry, Adam Amazinga, you know, he's obviously looking for the takedowns, which means he may not want to stand. Let's we'll see how this one plays out in the second round. Second round, you ready? Cage doors ready? closed, Bring we're up. back underway. Darren O'Gorman, Dean Amasinger in the cage. Brad Wharton, Josh Palmer and the prospect, Nathaniel Wood, privileged to call the action from cage side. Cage Warriors 106, Night of Champions. Oh, it's triangle entry here off the kick, and you see immediately Amasinger getting his head up, textbook defence. Trying to fight both hands back inside. I think he's going to find the space he needs here. There we go. Yeah, prize open the thighs there, did Amasinger. I mean, it's textbook defense, you know, you get your head up, force them to have to lift their hips up, try and climb that posture. He's going to rub a guard again here, though. This will be interesting. It takes a certain amount of flexibility to play this guard really effectively. And Amma Singer doing a good job. Forward pressure forces O'Gorman to abandon the position. He's able to shrug his shoulders free. Don't want to see those toes going there. Oh, no, Gorman just being warned there for toes in the fence as he looks to set up that armbar. Oh, and he looks like he's trying to pull it back inside. I think the it's elbow tough. is just safe. This is a tough position for Amasinga. Precarious for him. Oh, he's, he's tightened it here. Amasinga oh. steps over and pulls the arm through. Incredible stuff. That was deep. And O'Gorman trying to stay in on these hips. Lovely balance from Amasinga. Don't grab it, don't grab it, don't grab it. Right, so Gorman now with the takedown. Yeah, we're going to see his top pressure here, or at least his, see if he can open the back up. A lot of Rene Kachok finishes on his record. See that hook coming across, getting, he's going to straighten his leg as soon as Amasinga tries to shrug him off. Much more positive stuff from Darren O'Gorman in this second round. Really taking the initiative here against Amasinga. Causes the break there. Wobbles Amasinga with that kick. And the momentum seems to be shifting in this contest. Yeah, he's got to use it. He's got to go forward. Keep putting the pressure on Amasinga. He can't sit back. And Nathaniel, you talked about this earlier on. How long are these gas tanks going to hold up at this pace? That's always an interesting one because, you know, we. We don't see these guys training, we don't know how much they've worked they've put in. I'm sure they have done, done their graft, but, you know, it's a very high-paced fight, so they, they better hope that their gas tanks are, are good. We'll keep a close eye on this one to see if anyone appears to be slowing down. Doesn't look like that's the case thus far. Yeah, there's a cut on the left eye of Amasinga. I'm not entirely sure what caused it, but it's, uh, it's really starting to open up now, but it's a good body lock. Takedown for him. Oh, big cut there, right in the eye of O'Gorman, and it looks like it may be off the side. So it might not bother him too much in the stand-up, at least. But it's going to be a big target for Adam Amasinga. Yeah, he's going back to the hips here, nice and low, driving that shoulder in. If he connects the hands, he's going to be able to pick O'Gorman up. Oh, that's good defence.
Amasinga keeping a hold of that body lock there as O'Gorman looks to create a bit of space. He's going to watch the knee up the left-hand side from O'Gorman. There it is. Dives in, almost missed his man there and gets right. caught in the guillotine. Yeah, he's, if he can connect the hands, he's going to... We've already seen him go to Marcelatine once, which is that high elbow. There it is. Oh, this is Dean going in a bad spot here. Oh, especially up against the cage. Big arch. Singer explodes out of that guillotine. He's got a minute to work here. Shot on the break there from O'Gorman. That's two very tight submissions. Amasinga's had to defend in this one round alone. And Amasinga cut above the eye as well now. That's in a slightly worse position than O'Gorman's. Yeah, that's been open for a couple of minutes in this round. Both clearly giving as good as they're getting. And, you know, just looking at O'Gorman now, that actually might have been blood from Amasinger's cut that we saw on him. Yeah, I think you're right there. Now the mystery deepens here. <laughs> There's a bit of swelling there from Amasinger, and that's what he's good at. Those fast, accurate punches. Well, Gorman's got to keep his hands up. He cannot drop his hands and come forward like that. Good work there again. Ramasinger lands the shot, dips Great out. Round. An impressive second round, Nathaniel. Very good. Both guys looking really sharp. Let's take a look at some of the action and see what we can pick apart from that second frame. I mean, both of those submissions were deep. The armbar didn't start off deep, though. It was actually quite shallow here. The elbow was just about out, and it seemed like he was able to just pull it a little bit deeper. Eventually, though, Amasinger was able to earthquake free. There you go. The Gorman immediately trying to reshoot. This, this was a very dangerous guillotine, though. See, both elbows peaked up high, using the forearms to shut off the arteries, but just not quite able to get the squeeze he needed. I'm a singer almost just powering his way out of that one. Ooh. That's a nasty cut above the left eye of Amasinger. Cut men doing what they can to stem the blood flow there. But that's going to be a huge target for O'Gorman, you've got to believe. Stop the bleeding there, but for how long? We'll have to wait and see. Well, I mean, they always open up again, don't they? Should you start getting the head in in the clinch? Start roughing it about a bit. Oh, that's a good shot. Yeah, that's a good Third and final round underway. I think it's one apiece here, quite possibly. Certainly wouldn't argue with that. Your scorecard, Nathaniel, you're seeing it as one apiece. Yeah, you know, I agree with you two there. Should all come down to who wants it more in this last round. Both guys swinging heavy leather. Oh, Gorman actually looking to be getting the better of a couple of these exchanges thus far. Keeping Amasinger guessing with the kicks as well. Yeah, Amasinger still looks fresh though. Oh, a good short right. Quarter Gorman stepping in. Palmer Singer surely looking to overwhelm O'Gorman here. Uh, we've seen Palmer Singer use this body lock a couple of times. He's so strong with it when he gets the head position. He uses it to really heave his man over. You see him throw the hip throw as well from here. And the crowd roaring in approval for Adam Amasinga. He's landing the better shots right now. Landed a couple of good short inside shots. Some on the break. Kick landed. Seems like the cut man's done a great job on his eye. Oh, and another big shot. And O'Gorman bleeding from the mouth now. He's taken a few big punches in this round. Yeah, O'Gorman's got a pull this one back quick, it could get away from him really fast here. Just seems like all of a sudden Amasinga has figured his timing out. Figured his range on the short shots and his timing. And as we say that, O'Gorman powering forward with a combination. Chasing Amasinga now. 
think a takedown for either man can really sway the judges now. Oh, that was a good opportunity for Amasinger to do just that. To walk the fight back to his own corner, though. And the singer still looking very light on his feet, very sharp. This is a great third round for him, you know, we're halfway through that round and he's decisively ahead, I think, so far in this third period. Just kicks the body there from O'Gorman to keep Amma Singer off him. Heavy leg kick from the man from Cork. Both these guys with a lot of support in the Apollo tonight. O'Gorman does train and live in London currently, so he's not a million miles from home in the figurative sense. Good work from Amasinger, though. And he's going to go on the skiatine again, or at least try and use it to turn Amasinger. Amasinger's defensive postures are very good. He knows when he needs to get his head up, knows when he needs to straighten his back. Doing a good job inside this clinch position here. Amasinger's corner calling for elbows on the break. I gotta say that, you know, I think O'Gorman needs either a big knockdown here or a, or a finish, because right now it's all Adam Amasinger, and I think he took the first round as well. O'Gorman looking to battle his way out of this clinch, turns his man around. Can he create some space here? Looking for a takedown, perhaps. Yeah, it's one thing to put the guy down. You've got to keep him there and you've got to do something with it. And that's not uh, that easy with only 50 seconds left. There's a wide base by Amasinger and that was helping him keep upright. It's going to help him get back to his feet here. O'Gorman again looking to link the hands. Yeah, it's good work by Amasinger. He's mostly safe when he gets his back on the cage there. 30 seconds left to play with Amasinger looks up at the clock. They're going to duke it out, but Amasinger presses his man back against the cage. Oh, the coaches of Darren O'Gorman are screaming at him to break off and come forward. Both corners calling for the strikes on the break there. Final 10 seconds of the round. Can someone pull something special out of the bag? Good head movement from Amasinger. O'Gorman looking to wade forward. Nothing on it though. And that was a contest that lift up to filling Nathaniel. All action from Bell to Bell. That's it. I feel like we need another two rounds. I don't know how that's going to help us time by this <laughs> night. We've, we've got a tight schedule. 13 incredible bouts here at Night of Champions as we take a look. There's some replays here. So look, Amasinger just found his timing, found his range, particularly on the short shots and the break. Several times he just caught O'Gorman stepping in. I think that was probably the most decisive round of the fight. Definitely went the way of Adam Amasinger. I feel confident in saying he took the first as well. Could probably see him taking this in a 29-28 on the judges' scorecards, but uh, you never know. Uh, see how our officials tally this one up. Some of the best in the game on the scorecards tonight. Mark Collette, Ben Cartledge, Dave Leatherby. I believe on the cards for this one. Judges tallying their scorecards as we await the final decision. Also, Judge Darrell Ransom in action tonight, so some of the best, most consistent judges in the game. And we will throw this one to our MC in the cage, Mr. Hal Chaplin, and he will make it official. Ladies and gentlemen, after three rounds of mixed martial arts action, we go to your judges' scorecard. Your judges score this bout 29-28. Armour Singer, 29-28. Darren O'Gorman and 29-28 in favour of your winner by way of split decision. In the blue corner, Adam Apex Amasinga! For another split decision 
for my money went the right way there. I thought that um, Amashinga had probably done enough. I'm, I'm just going to guess that the, the lone dissenting judge gave the first to uh, to O'Gorman. That's got to be the that's the only thing it can be. Regardless, Amasinga with a big win here to get back on track. United champions, and there's some very very happy fans in the crowd as well. There might be after that performance, and we're immediately going to get back.